feeling you get at the end of a movie where you realize you've just seen a classic? Yeah, I got that here. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Film Review, episode number 96. And the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is the new sci-fi film, Looper. Looper is directed by Ryan Johnson, whose previous films include Brick and the Brothers Bloom, and it stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Bruce Willis, Emily Blunt, and Jeff Daniels. Now, the film focuses on Joe, a specialized assassin called a Looper living in the near-distant future. And his job is to kill targets sent back to him 30 years from the present. But one day, he has sent his future self, and let's just say, it doesn't go so well. Looper was one of my most anticipated movies of the entire year. I love the director, the cast, and just the concept in general. And by God, Looper totally blew me away. This is an amazing film. The cast here delivers outstanding performances. Joseph Gordon-Levitt gives an absolutely incredible performance as Joe. I mean, he went through makeup and prosthetics to look like a younger Bruce Willis, and boy does it work here. I mean, I at times I actually forgot that I was watching Levitt, instead really focusing on the brilliantly nuanced and layered character that he was portraying. Bruce Willis gives his best performance in a long time as old Joe. He really feel the world weariness and regret as he faces his younger self, and it's just great to see Willis engaged and looking like he gives a crap in a movie that he's in. Emily Blunt also gives a terrific performance as Sarah, a woman that Joe ends up meeting through circumstances I dare not reveal. And that's the thing, there's a lot more to Looper than the plot that I just described, so the less that you know about this movie going in, the more you will really get out of it. The direction and writing by Ryan Johnson is absolutely fantastic. He really creates this very strong sense of this futuristic world that somehow feels still very grounded in reality and pretty close to what we've recognized. And also the dialogue here can be very sharp and clever and just so well written. What makes Looper an amazing film is that there's so much there underneath the surface. I mean, the characters are really well developed, the emotion is really well earned, and the action here is not just for action's sake. I mean, you can tell that Ryan Johnson put everything in this film here for a reason. The film's not afraid to slow down and let these characters and relationships develop so that you actually, you know, get more invested in the story and you actually feel something for these characters. Looper also asks some interesting questions that you thought you were very certain about, and that's so refreshing nowadays, especially since most science fiction movies now are very filled with mindless action and just slick special effects, whereas this film has a pulse beating throughout, and it will definitely stay with you as you exit the theater. Ultimately, I'm going to give Looper an A. I love this movie to death. It's an extremely entertaining, original, thought-provoking, emotional piece of cinema that is sure to put Ryan Johnson up there with the Nolans and the Finchers. I highly recommend you all go out to see this amazing film because it's going to be one of the best films you'll see all year. Unforgettable. So that's it for this review. My next review will probably be up next weekend when I bring you guys an early review of Argo, the new film from director Ben Affleck. And if you like this review, hit that subscribe button up there so you can get more reviews from me. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the other side.